Latin creations. Hello friends, welcome to another video of Latin creations. My name is Kamilu. In this short video, we are going to see crystals present in acidic urine. So, let's start this. Juric acid crystals. They have diamond rhombic or russet shape. They are typically orange to brown or yellow in color. These are soluble in sodium hydroxide but not in hydrochloric acid. Chronic nephritis are the main pathological condition where we can see juric acid crystals in urine. Stain hydrated is one of the best way to treat the crystals themselves. Cysteine crystals. Actually, cysteine means type of amino acid and it can cause urine crystals. These are present as hexagonal plates and soluble in hydrochloric acid and ammonia. Congenital cystinosis, congenital cystinuria are some of pathological conditions where they appear in urine. Thyrosine crystals. They look like fine refractile needles which present as clusters. Severe liver disease and thyrosinosis like condition give rise to thyrosine crystals in urine. Calcium oxalate crystals. This is the most common type of crystals found in urine. They have octahedral or envelope shape. Also, it appears by can discs which have dumbbell shape. Envelope shaped crystals are called as calcium oxalate dihydrate crystals, and dumbbell shaped crystals are called as calcium oxalate monohydrate crystals. They are soluble in hydrochloric acid but not in acetic acid. Calcium oxalate crystals can also be seen in urine with neutral pH. In diabetes mellitus and liver disease, the calcium oxalate crystals can be present in urine. Not only that, this can be seen after injection tomato, vitamin C and orange. Calcium sulfate crystals. They have long needle with sharp ends of prism shaped plates. The plate can be isolated or form in a rosette. They are very rare and not much clinically important.
sodium urate crystals. These are yellowish needle occur in cluster and they are soluble at 60 Celsius. They do not have clinical significance. Hippuric acid crystals. They occur as elongated prism or plates, and usually the color is yellow, brown, or maybe colorless. These are rarely seen in urine and not clinically important. Amorphous urate crystals. These are granular urates of potassium, sodium, magnesium, and calcium. But these are not clinically important too. Leucine crystals. These crystals are spheroid with radial and concentric stations. Usually, they are spherical and oily. They are soluble in warm alcohol and acidic condition. We can see them in urine in severe hepatitis and marble syrup disease. Collateral crystals. Collateral crystals are transparent, large, flat plates like structures with knotted edges. We can see them in urine in nephritis, nephritic syndrome, chyluria, like pathological conditions. Well, I hope you have gained some knowledge about these crystals from this video. Anyway, I have already designed a number of videos about these crystals and crystal identification. You can click about link and uh, see my previous videos too. However, in my next video, I hope to discuss with you interesting microbiology topic how to identify and confirm Staphylococcus aureus in laboratory. We will discuss in my next video. So, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and hit bell icon to update with more medical laboratory science and medical video videos like this. Thank you.